people for joining us. Um, if you'd like to start with an opening statement. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, massively disappointed. Uh, you know, you can, I think you can look beyond, look beyond uh, anything that happened in the game. The result in these games is the most important thing, and and. Uh, you know, I think I think the run that we're on at the moment, I've got to take full responsibility for this run. And uh, you know, I just said to them in there that in life you get difficult moments. Difficult moments. Today is Mother's Day. You think about the, the journey that our mothers have been on to 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 bring us into the world, the sacrifices and and the difficult moments that they've had. And and there's only way out that they've for them to get success in their life. They've probably had to really, really work hard and three jobs sacrifice something to provide for their family and, I, and I, f I feel that's if there's ever a message for today for the players is, is that in 48 hours time we've got to get up get back out there and play there's no time for sulking you know uh, any criticism that comes our way has got to be aimed at me uh, you know I select the team I pick the system I pick the tactics the nine last nine games uh, we've got to be better I've, I've got to be better but the one thing I'm absolutely convinced on is is that that we will get this right I'm, I'm more convinced today than I've ever been. Uh, I think we've got to now come out fighting. We've got to find ways of winning football games because we're in a little bit of trouble at this moment in time in terms of the league table. Uh, and the results have to change very, very quickly. And, and I'm under no illusions of that. And uh, if I was a supporter, uh, I wouldn't be happy today because you want to win these games. These games are for the supporters. And, 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 and I feel I feel that's my frustration, my anger, my... my uh, uh, overriding feeling is is that today we I feel as if we've let our supporters down with that result. Today was our bounce back game. Today was the game where we had to we had to show something different than what we've not done over the last eight games. And there's been positives in the last eight games. Today at this moment in time, I can't feel a positive because of the result. And, and I'm not being negative, but the result today was was probably more important than anything else that we've seen. And, and unfortunately, we didn't get the right result. And, and I take full responsibility for that. We'll open up to questions. Hey, Coach. Hi. <clears throat> so you mentioned we do have a really quick turnaround before our next home match. Yeah. Can you give us some details on what you're thinking about to change or to do differently for Wednesday's home match? Yeah, well, I think uh, the, the thing for me is is, is a, I've got to select the right team on Wednesday. I've got to select the right team, the right players on Wednesday. There are players in good moments and there are players that are not in good moments. And and. Uh, we've got to pick pick 11 players that are in good moments that want to play for this football club. I think that's really important. Players that want to play for this football club, that want to be here, that want to commit fully to the journey, that want to commit fully to this football club and its supporters. And that's really important. And, and I'd say that I'm finding out every single day of the week those that want to be with us and those that want, don't want to be with us. And, and I'd say that in football, in life, uh, you know, you can cruise in life and get by in life, but getting by doesn't get you any kind of success. And I think there's too many people in this in this team that are cruising and think they're doing well and think they're okay, but they're not because enough's enough. Phil, uh, I think the team had two shots on target today: Mora's goal in the 15th minute and in the 80th minute, Santi's shot. Yeah. Um, do you think that the team, result aside, showed enough urgency and effort in the second half? Uh, in a home derby against yeah, Seattle. Yeah, I, I think I think I, I don't like the word effort because I think there was effort, you know, and I, and I know I know what your question is. I think I think the, the the word I've used to them is is drive, the drive to 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 go beyond your capabilities, to try something different, to come out your comfort zone and push yourself and the rest of the team, not just play simple and safe. And I'd say that that, that what we saw in that second half is exactly what I've seen every single day. A team that's comfortable, a team that, that probably apart from Chara, you know, apart from Chara lacks that drive at this moment in time. Now drive comes with, with, with confidence, uh, drive comes with seeing somebody around you, you know, pushing, and uh, and they've got to respond to that. And and two or three players did have that drive, but I felt that the rest were just acceptance of the situation. That's what frustrated me. We were too acceptance of a situation, too acceptance just to get beat in a derby game. That's what I can't stand. That's what I can't put up with, and that's why I feel like it's my responsibility. And, and if the supporters are unhappy, I'm unhappy, and please, I want them to to stick with us now because because we will get this right. Trust me, we'll get this right. Hey, coach. Uh, you said in your opening statement that you're convinced that you know you believe the team will get it right. What, what did you see today that kind of suggests that 
I guess a better way of saying it is, what are those things that you feel like you can build on from anything like today? I know you said there wasn't a lot that impressed well, you. Well, I, yeah. I, I, think, I think one thing that, the one thing has to turn, we have to get a decision. We have to get a decision. The first goal's offside for them. In any, you know, I watched the Colorado game last night against, the, you know, two, two VAR decisions. We have to start getting these decisions. Don't care who the referee is. The referee today was good or bad. You know, it doesn't matter. But we have to start getting these decisions as a football club. It's too easy. It's too easy for, for, for these decisions to keep going against us. Once I can accept two, okay, three, when, you, when it's four, five, six times, it, it, it becomes, it becomes, uh, it becomes a real problem because that affects confidence. We go up in the game, yeah? We go up in a game at the start of the game where I felt we started a little bit nervously, yeah? They got possession of the ball, they got experienced players. We, we scored and that gave us a little bit of confidence and then it was a clear offside goal. The guy stood in front of the keeper and he's clearly interfering with play. Clearly interfering with play. Now, if we can't see that, then we've got a problem. So that has to change and it will. In life, in life, the tide does turn. So I'd say that the first thing is, is the tide will turn in terms of the results that we're not getting. And some of the, the, the decisions we're not getting are diabolical. But that will turn. That will turn for us. The other thing is, is that they are working their absolute socks off to try and get results. There has been a drop in confidence in the last two games without a shadow of a doubt. The flow in the game, the, you know, our goals have dried up a little bit in terms of the chances created. That will come back. That will come back. We just, we just need to keep believing in what we're doing. And I need to be better. I need to be better as a coach. I need to pick, pick better teams. Pick better teams that I know and can trust that can go out there and get us results. And that's important. And that's why I go back to my opening statement is that the book stops with me. The book stops with me. The, the decisions against us is, is, a, is, a, is, is a big thing, but the book stops with me. Coach, um, Guillermo with Univision Portland, uh, with more than two months without a win, at what point do you begin to worry or hit the panic button about your season? No, I, look, I think, I think we're at that point now where, where we've got to start. We're in trouble. I've just said to the team, we're in trouble. Now it's, now it's must win games. And that's not the best situation to be in because that brings more pressure, more expectation, more tension. Uh, anxiety, it brings all those words that, that, that really are anti you playing freedom, uh, freedom uh, flowing, free flowing soccer. So, so, but I'd say that, that now's the time where we need to show our real personalities, our real characters. Do you want to be at this football club? If you do, then, then, then get your finger out your backside and start working. Get your finger out your backside and start performing. And that's me as well. So, I'd say that in these situations, there's only one way. There's only one way to be. You wallow in self-pity, you, you, you feel sorry for yourself, it's only going to get worse. And I'd say at this moment in time, I think we're at that point where enough is enough. We'll wrap it there. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks,